honor of one of Stokes' most famous actresses, all eyes were on our next guest when Passions premiered back in 1999. She won over critics and fans alike, but surprisingly decided to leave show business. Now she's back, and she's here to set the record straight. So please welcome Susan Lucci's pride and joy, Liza Huber. just under two years. First of all, what made you decide to leave the show originally? Well, uh, when I decided to leave, I actually decided to put my career on hold for a little while and go back to New York and be with my fiancé. I followed my heart at the time, and Passions was very understanding. And, uh, you know, in the long run, we wound up not getting married, which is a very good thing. Probably a blessing, <laughs> yes. Yes, yeah. things turn out to be blessings. Oh, yes, indeed. And, <laughs> and anyway, sure. about, um, <laughs> about six months ago, Jackie Brisky called me and asked me if I'd like to return. Jackie and is the casting director. Is the Passions. casting director of Passions? Excuse me. And she asked me if I'd like to return, and I was thrilled at the opportunity because I was so sorry that I had left, and that's really I'm so grateful to have the opportunity to pick up where I left off. That's great because that doesn't always happen in life. That's it very true. Certainly does. That's very true. I really I say my prayers every day. It's meant to be. It seems. Yes. So it was nice to get away from the business for a little bit, and it, now it, you're... Exactly. I've known for the past, I, don't know, I guess, six months that, I'm, that I'll be coming back. And in the interim, I was studying with Alan Savage, uh, one of the top acting teachers in the country for the past year, and that's been wonderful. Now, did you ever question whether you still wanted to be an actress? I did. I kind of always questioned. I mean, my mother is an icon in, in now, TV. Now, who's your mom again? Um, <laughs> What is she playing? She's snowing. She's snowing. Just no, she's snowing. What is that? You know, and, and, no, no. of course, if you, you grow up in that, you must think to yourself, is that my <laughs> dream, or is that a, the dream of my mother's, or is it, is it the family dream? business? Right. There's what other options are open to you. Exactly. Exactly. No exactly. And I really did question um, my choice in the beginning, although I had a great time, and I love to perform. But this time... Everything is on my own terms, my choices, and yeah, I can own it for myself. For it does. Everything came full circle, and I feel so blessed. That's so, experience. so great. Yes, That's great. Yeah. Thank you for that. Yeah. Now, did you, when you were a child, did you want to be a performer? Were you a child performer at all? Or? I think that if you're a performer, as you guys know, you just are a natural-born <laughs> performer. <laughs> That's very well put. Yeah, um, when I was, I think I was five years old when our house was being painted, and I called all the painters in and did my little dance number for them, and uh, my parents thought, okay. <laughs> you all dressed up yeah. in suit. Great. I was all dressed up doing, very you know, funny. flying cartwheels. <laughs> oh. So, That's yeah. Great. Well, we, uh, we know Susan Lucci, obviously, as Erica Kane, but yes. you know her as mom. So maybe when we come back, you can tell us your, tell us some embarrassing mom stories, maybe? <laughs> Share with us. I have a few. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Coming up, more with Liza Huber and life with her famous mom. We're back with passion star Liza Huber. We're talking about all sorts of exciting things. Of course, I was asking Liza what it was like growing up with Susan Lucci. Now, we all know Susan Lucci as Susan Lucci, Erica Kane, but... She's mom to you. She's and my mom. Tell us. What, what was it like? You were just say what you were just saying to me during the break about, you know, PTA movie meetings and baking cupcakes. And well, Lisa was asking me, I mean, how has it affected you? Because Lisa has children as well. And I said, well, really, I mean, first of all, my mother was, her star was already rising when I was born. So from day one, my mother's always been on television. But, but number two, and most importantly, she baked the cookies and went to the meetings and drove us to school and did everything she could and was always Mrs. Huber and was a mom first. And uh, she's really a great mom and she's my best friend. And, and oh, I feel God. so really excited about that. And she can probably give you great advice, being yeah. that you're in the same genre. Exactly. It's, and it was not necessarily like, okay, now you're going, here's advice. It's more, I mean, I really did just grow up. And so it's just this lifelong 
seeing of what this is all about, knowing the ropes and seeing the ups and seeing the downs. And she almost didn't even need to give me any advice because I know firsthand oh. what's happened. You've, and, you've seen it. Yeah. But now is it harder on the flip side? Is it harder or easier when you go in your professional career when people know that you're Susan Martinucci's daughter? Well, I think um, it definitely makes a difference. I mean, a lot of people think, oh, because there are so many celebrity children who are now actors, and a lot of people think, oh, well, that's no big deal for them. I mean, of course, the doors are open for you. You can get the auditions, you can get the meetings, but once your foot is in the door, you are just combed over ten times harder Do they watch than anyone else. Even Absolutely, closer. and if you have an off day or an off audition, it just doesn't go by the wayside. I mean, word right. kind of flies. And then on the other side of the coin, if you're great, you know, people say, but you really need to prove yourself. But on the flip side, it also helps you get jobs like interning on One Life to Live. Is that yes, correct? yes. When I was in college, I interned on One Life to Live. That's what I heard. Mm -hmm. uh, you know everything. <laughs> yes, I didn't even know that. I helped, I helped write the breakdown. I heard that. I heard that. <laughs> Which is the script writing breakdown. Now, is there something about your mom that drives you crazy? <laughs> Well, there are moms are moms. Because moms are moms. Exactly. Susan Lucci, she we know, Erica we love. Kane. She's an icon. She's Erica Kane. But moms are always moms. <laughs> well, there, I, I've got to say, there's nothing she does that like makes me nuts. But there's something that is so funny that she does, and I mean, she does it to this day and has done it ever since I was an adult. She will call me three times a day and say, you know, leave me messages and say. Hi, Liza, it's Mommy calling. You can reach me at, and then gives me, you know, the home number that I grew up with. You know, oh. And, oh, how funny yeah. is that, which you, of course, know in your head. Yeah, even when I lived at home, still living with that phone number. Oh, I said, but Mom, you know, I know, I know my own home number. So I know, I know you do, sweetheart, but what if you got hit over the head? Or you, or you couldn't, you couldn't remember your number. Just here you would have it. And I, and we joke about it now, and, uh, now when she calls, she tries so hard. She's like, hi, it's Mommy. You know where to reach me. <laughs> you tell your mom if she wants to leave a phone number, call Ty's phone. You tell her that. Well, Liza, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much and good luck. Thank you, Have a good time. We'll go around and we'll be right back. Austria, I grew up speaking German and then uh, took Italian and French as well. So I, I, and having a European father, it kind of becomes the norm, so language definitely. They say there are no small points. Daring Daring is passion's hunky high.